and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo midrange. Uh, starting the day off today, wanted to say something. We're going to have a little bit of a change here with the videos. I'm going to make these videos shorter for those of y'all watching on YouTube. Um, been getting some feedback that the you know, videos that are most all of them are like an hour 45 to two hours long. They're just kind of too long how we're playing our 10 matches. So what we're going to be doing is playing five matches for each deck instead of 10. Um, and because of that, we're going to be playing five decks a day now. So we'll have five YouTube videos every day with five matches each. Hopefully uh, the, uh, the videos are a little bit better with them being a little shorter and they won't drag out as much. Um, but of course, uh, you know, let me know in the YouTube comments. Let me know what you think of, of the, the new videos and everything. Anyway, we're bringing back Yasuo. Uh, we played this deck a few days ago and it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we got to bring it back. So Yasuo is our only champion in this deck. Um, and so, of course, we're, we're built on uh, having trying to stun and recall so many things. Uh, and the reason why Yasuo is our only champion is because the other champions just don't really work that well with Yasuo. Even though Katarina does get recalled, um, it still doesn't really help your, your whole Yasuo game plan. Uh, I remember last time the Intimidating Roar was, you know, having three Intimidating Roars, um, they were dead cards a lot of the time. And maybe this shouldn't be a three of, that this should be like a one or a two of. But the combo potential with Yasuo is so great with this card. Uh, we did take out those Green Glade Lookouts that were, um, that were just underperforming, as we talked about at the end of the last time. Got a Might in to be able to give a Blade Twirler Overwhelm and then an extra Steel Tempest and an extra Deny. Anyway, let's just go to the games. We're going to be playing some ranked, playing five matches. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, Scarface, uh, yeah, this isn't, say that you have a deck like this that you like, but uh, you lose too much with it. It's it's not the best deck. We can we can certainly admit that it's not the best deck, but it's definitely really fun to play. Um, deny against the barrier deck shouldn't be doing too much because all of their barriers are, are burst speed. And House Spider... It's like great against all these other spider decks and these go wide decks that are in the metagame. That's why it's a good defensive two drop for us. But with already having Blade Twirler and Yasuo, I want to find stun cards. And especially against um, the barrier stuff, you know, stunning a creature with a barrier is... Uh, Is good. Like, stun's a good answer to barrier. Hey, WQ. Yeah, Yasuo could use some more support. Like, Try to keep up. Wouldn't hurt. Honor, you must die. Um. So I can I can bounce this right now. And then I get to... Yeah, I'm just going to bounce this right now, honestly. Because that lets me... Uh... Okay, well... This will be quick. Basically, the, the reason why I want to, to bounce right now is because that lets me play Yasuo next turn, play Intimidating Roar the turn after that. Um, you know, I wasn't going to have four mana for that I walk uh, the space between worlds. bounce card. Is this is this is four less power? Okay. Enforced equilibrium. The balance will decide your fate. It can try. Turn. 
Come on, play Fiora. Smell that? A bite to cook it. War chefs. Um. Do we think they're just gonna play? If I just pass, do they play Fiora? Or do I just not get greedy and play this intimidating roar? Like, the Intimidating Roar would only kill just the one thing at that point. Welcome to try. We walk this realm. Our wills align. I'm not in a good spot. I really need a whole lot more stun cards. I only have this one stun card. I need so many more. I need so many more. Yep, need a lot more. But yeah, no, I, I should have I should have waited on the will of Ionia, I think, but even still. No one goes hungry. This is not going well. Not going too well at all. Oh, it's on. Man, that's a burst speed. All right, so now we're bouncing war chefs. Um, so I could play the might to kill the green blade caretaker. Like, I feel like it's not worth it. So next night, next turn, we're going to have nine mana, so we'll be able to play the Swift Foot. Um, so I can either bank three mana and hope that I draw some other kind of bounce recall afterwards with that, you know, with that uh, three mana, or I can play this Shadow Assassin. We'll play the Shadow Assassin. We still bank one mana. There we go. Yone's good. Yeah, Stand United look, has looked really good this game, that's for sure. It has definitely looked impressive. Okay, so we recall the three. And then they just replay the three, because that's just three, one, four. Uh, I guess it will kill that thing. Feet were made for Roman. You know, kind of, kind of debating whether you know to do that or or this, but we're I think saving Yone for next turn and having the you know we'll have the Steel Tempest next turn and everything. 
Oh, I mean, what if they deny again? I mean, yeah, we're we're dead. I mean, we're already we're already super far behind. Can't play around everything. Like we can't we can't really play around another deny. Okay. Gasser flips. Kind of the question is is like attacking. I will play my part. Do I want to attack with the six five? So I think the answer is no. I don't want to let them just repost here, right? So if they do repost here, then they're probably playing something else pre-combat next turn. Actually, maybe I should have attacked. Let them repost. Come on, play something, play something, play something. Come on. Darn. Can't fight on an empty stomach. You cannot escape. Yeah. The Shen still has five is gonna have five toughness afterwards, so the Shen will still die to Yasuo. They did have the repost last turn. I kinda called that. Does the wind flee or does it follow? Yasuo is so powerful. Like we we can actually come back with this because of how good Yasuo is. Once we once we start drawing these uh, you know, Yones and Swiftfoot. Bye-bye, Fiora. Bye-bye, Shen. Um, it's going to be a problem. Okay, a problem that Swiftfoot can solve. If they play something, come on, play something. Play something. Yeah. My honor, you must Get him, Swiftfoot. Feet were made for Romans and Get him. Set him up. We'll knock him down. Set him up. We'll knock him down. All right. Started off with a win. GG's. Yeah, that was a that was a good game, man. Yeah, Yasuo is so strong. Fought through all that. Um, that was a great top deck with that Mina Swiftfoot top deck. But yeah, you know, we finally drew into both both Swift feet, both Yones. Okay, Fiora Karma. So Fiora Karma is probably even more of like a a protect the queen type deck. Um, I don't know if I need House Spider, honestly. I think we just kind of... We're going to want this Yone. We're going to want these other cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do need your opponent to... Like, that is, that's a great... Like, that last matchup is like the perfect Yasuo matchup. You need your opponent to play... 
units and not really play removal. And that's what happened there. Harvey. Harvey. Stop. Now Spider is just a good card. Getting a 2-2 and a 1-1 for just 2 mana. It's a good card. Two steps ahead. You know, it's like it's like 3 power worth of... Um, I want to play one of these now. It's like... You know, it's three power, three toughness. So, you know, so you get you get six stats, but it's across two bodies. I never hold back. Oh, God. Fiora now has two toughness, so Fiora gets stunned or recalled. Fiora will take two. Good job, Discipline. Gotta save my Yasuo. No! Hold me back. That was a great card to have. Man, yeah, that was great. Yeah, with the... Okay. wonder if I would have just passed if that would have happened. All right, we get to the attack end, so now they act first. That's Ready better for us. The land and give it light. I go where the road takes me. And this Will of Ionia is pretty clutch. I, of course, want them to play something pre-combat so I can play one of these three mana spiders, but I think it's kind of unlikely that they do. Their deck's just built on having tons and tons and tons of spells. I guess they didn't even go to combat. They just passed. Oh yeah, I was I was kind of expecting them to play to block with Fiora and have a protection spell, but um, blocking with Fiora there does like force them to use protection. But yeah, you know like, that would have tapped them out of mana, would have made it easier for Yasuo to resolve. I wasn't gonna do anything to protect the spider. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So they're relying on the karma. Oh, it's my action. Oh. Go 
get him, house spider. You got him. All right, down to seven. We have good options. Yone can be good. Reckoner can be good. Canning Roar can be good. We, we have some good options. No double spell options. Uh, if I stun the Karma, it does two damage to the Karma right now. Every time we stun something, it does two damage to it. So we won't we wouldn't kill Karma by a stun right now. It's a tough call. Intimidating Roar or Minotaur Reckoner. It's just Reckoner. Maybe we'll just get that in. You know, if I play Intimidating Roar and then they, you know, do something to Yasuo, get rid of Yasuo or something, then, then the card just did nothing and we did nothing with our turn. This is pretty devastating, though, to have out. Yep, so they would have had a, a Will of Ionia. So, so good. The Intimidating Roar would have just done nothing. I'm kind of scared of... I, Yasuo is just too valuable. I'm scared of... You know, like Their deck's filled with like barriers and, and spells and, and everything like that. I'm scared of like barrier plus... like They barrier the Karma, and then I have to use Will of Ionia on it, and then they deny my Will of Ionia, and now my Yasuo is gone. I just feel like it's not worth... That's not worth the risk. Yasuo is too valuable. Just sitting out and doing damage. So I can Will of Ionia and still have Minotaur Reckoner available. There's that deny. No. So they just used a Will of Ionia and they just used a deny. Do they have another one of either of those? Possibly. It's just safer to play the yes, Reckoner again. Grace, beauty of the blade. Turn nine. Mina Swiftfoot. So basically, wins if they don't have deny. I guess this isn't gonna actually work that well. Do they have deny? Yeah, they do. That's fine. Um, we would have only dealt two to that, two to that, and then and then we would have flipped and done five to the the thing that was already stunned. We swim within the flows of magic. I don't. I don't know, think. I don't know if I can order how like you recall the three enemies. I don't. I don't know if you can. If I can say recall this one first, then this one, then this one. I. I would think it would just do left to right, but maybe. Maybe I could have. Maybe that's just how I. I clicked it. 
Yeah, it recalls left to right. Oh, it does recall in order of being selected? Oh, okay. I, I just assumed it was left to right. Okay. A gift from the river folk. That's good to know. So they're down two denies. They have to base. They basically have to keep denying every single turn. But they're down two denies. Currently. It is possible that they will have, like, it's possible they have four denies. Like, they could have, like, they definitely have three in their deck, and then it's possible that Karma created one. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. I'll have to um, target them with Swiftfoot now. That one, then it flips, and then we'll do that and that. Feet were made for Romans and chicken. Set them up. We'll knock them down. Dang. There's a third deny. No. Well, then I guess they get to kill Yasuo now. That really, really hurts having a, that third deny. Warned you. Hope burns on. Go straight to attacks. Do I start stunning everything? We know they have one elite in hand from their 5 4 that died. If I go straight to attacks, they can eat the 3 2 and not have lethal. Play this though. It's gonna make it more difficult for them to play one creature and stay alive. <laughs> you're on seven denies in your list. Yeah, they've they've played all three, so the only way they could have more is if Karma made more. Yeah, that third one. It's definitely hurt. Well, they may make another one now. That'd be bad. If you're for those of y'all joining in that that missed it earlier, I'm playing five decks. Um. Five decks with five matches each. Instead of how we have been doing the four decks with ten matches. Alright, so that's still... All right, so I still don't have lethal now with that detain. That's only 12. But hopefully Yone. They have one mana. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. So young. So careless. Yeah. 
ねよねよねよねどうなのThis has been a long game. Been a long game but... Okay, so we'll block with a 6 6. Don't really imagine they're going to let Karma die. Come on, a second purify? Ugh. Shenanigans. That was not a good trade for me. That was not a good trade for me. Oh, come on, Twin Disciplines. Where were you last round? Uh, that would have been good to have. Well, let's intimidating roar first. It'll stun these two, presumably. They can twin disciplines their creatures though to not get stunned. And then it'll be their priority. Maybe they play another unit, then we Yone, and then we attack in. Uh, I can't play this and Yone, and I think Yone is going to be more important. Just pass. They could be trying to set up a judgment. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. So young. So careless. Right, this this did detain my Minotaur Reckoner, so if if we can just get Karma off the battlefield, we get Minotaur Reckoner back. So this takes judgment off the table. This thing's super stunned. Double stunned. Finally! Alright, 2-0. Man, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to beat Karma. <laughs> GG. You gotta work for that. We're getting Freljord to level 20. Gotta work for that. Win against Karma. What do we got now? Trindamir Thresh. 
So Trindamir Thresh probably means... Sure, probably means War Mother's Call. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I don't need a second nine drop. That egg. Did it move? No, 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 no. Don't need that second nine drop. Both Thresh and Trindamir are, are good cards to Will of Ionia. Those are good unsummoned targets because of how expensive they are, especially Trindamir. We have a good thing for Trindamir. We have a good thing for War Mother's Call. And then we have nine drops. So basically, we're going to be good when, it, you know, once you start getting to like turn eight, we're going to have some spells to play. Problem, of course, is playing spells before that. Uh, that that actually seems like something we should deny. That seems pretty annoying to deal with. So maybe this is a War Mother's Call. Looks like I could have been wrong about that. Or maybe it still is, and it's just playing that as like a, a mid-game card to bridge the gap. Who knows? They don't have Elise, but they have they have like all these other spider cards, but no Elise. I would not be surprised by Vile Feast. an easy one to call. And this is where we draw Yasuo. Alright, close enough. Close enough, that's a good card. Hey, Sultani. Hope you're having a good day. Each time we stun something, this blade twirler gets a little bigger. Let me get in just a little bigger. Um I mean I think I think what they're trying to do is let the damage happen and then have grasp the undying to be able to kill my Minotaur Reckoner. Like I think that's what they want to do. I think I let it happen. And I guess I guess we use Spirit's Refuge. I don't think we use I mean maybe I should use Spirit's Refuge right away. Then they could, you know, like file feast and stuff like that. Or maybe it's the just they just want to attack with that and, and then their other three one can start attacking better. My blade grows restless.
Hmm. I think I'd rather keep Deny than Will of Ionia. Yeah, I made a couple of just just a couple of small changes. Kind of ones that we talked about at like the end of the the last stream. Good job, Swiftfoot. And I think they're dead. We'll see though. We have deny, twin disciplines. This is a 15-3. That's pretty big. We even have Refuge to protect it. I I can't really see how they're going to be getting past this. I'm glad we kept Deny. There we go. And that is how we 3-0. Yeah, basically the, the main change is... Uh, I just replaced... The one mana plus three plus zero with might so that we can give that blade twirler overwhelm and then we took out the three uh green green glade tear caretakers that weren't that weren't impactful we took those out and we got an extra deny an extra steel tempest and an extra uh house spider in instead so that's what we changed since the last time we played it And it's working out well. Is this just Teemo with Ionia? Is this a lot of a lot of elusives, maybe? Maybe? That's good. We want stun and recall. Nothing like the great outdoors. Turn one, Teemo. Never loses. Oh, there goes our win streak. They had turn one, Teemo. Yeah, I could think they're just a, a PNZ burn deck that's splashing deny. I guess that's possible. Another River Shaper deck. A little un unexpected. It cannot hide. Everyone here? Alright, so I was probably going to be playing the Shadow Assassin, but since they tapped out, I felt like I could play the Yasuo. You cannot escape. Want to see these moves up close? I'm at 10 buff caps, so this will give me 15, 30. Uh -huh. 
No, I wouldn't switch out Twin Disciplines for an extra Yone. Um, but yeah, Yone is pretty awesome. I I would definitely consider switching out an Intimidating Roar for a Yone. These Intimidating Roars, at times they're pretty good, but I don't think it's really necessarily a 3-up, because there's a lot of times where these Intimidating Roars are not good at all. And yeah, I I think that it... I think that's that's a change that I could definitely see doing. Or how I want to do this. Not sure how I want to do this at all. So many options. Bouncing these things, refuge this, twin disciplines that. I'll go twin disciplines that. Yeah, I did know Yone and Yasuo were brothers, um, and Yone. I remember people were talking about like their their backstory one of the days in here. Darn, that's not me. I didn't recall the unit. I was like, "Ooh, is that gonna do two? You know, for a little bit there, I was like, "Is that gonna do two damage?" Waters are still. So, of course, I want to Intimidating Roar. Because they just Don't let the fluffy tail kill both Teemos. But I am fearful of... I am fearful of Deny. The attack may be like this. This may be a, a time like how they pass the turn. It may be a time just to pass back and have them waste nine mana. But I don't know. It's just we have such a good attack here, right? Like, obviously they can use a couple of spells and kill a couple of my things. But maybe that's a time just to accept their pass and. Candle scouts are never afraid. I don't know, that's it's just it's a tough call. See, this is still like a This is a good trade for me. Like we get five damage in and then we trade two of our units for one of their units and a stun and a twin disciplines. Like that's that's pretty good. With eight mana, we can double Will of Ionia, so if they have Deny... Like, if I let it resolve and then try to roar and then they deny the roar, that's a problem. So we can let them deny the Will of Ionia, because we have a backup Will of Ionia. Rain here is opinion. And... G... G... Good, we didn't get 12. <laughs> we didn't get 12 puff caps. Is this gonna be a perfect league? A, a perfect video? We're gonna get the 5 0. All that experience. 
Let's see. We get the Masters 5-0. All right, tough matchup here with with a deck that doesn't rely on units. This is a tough matchup here. Hey, Toasted. The most puff caps I've got with one card was, I think, something like nine. I, I don't know. Might have... I kind of feel like it was single digits, like the real high single digits, but I kind of feel like we might have gotten one with like 11 or 14 or something like that. I, I guess I don't really, I don't really know. I wish there was like a, an achieve, what if there, like, what if this game had like an achievements tab, like, you know, in like the, on the main screen, you know, just had like some, some stuff like, you know, the most damage dealt in one turn or, you know, stuff like that. And maybe one of them's the most total puff caps you gave your opponent. And the most puff caps your opponent drew with one card. Most puff caps that you drew with a card, maybe. I walk my path alone. There's not so there's nothing after three diamond chests in the vault for this week and for previous weeks. But starting next week, so starting Tuesday, it's going to be set up to be unlimited rewards. So that will change. So after level 13, each each additional level, you get a capsule that has two rares and three commons for each level you go after that. So you can you can level up, you can keep leveling up your vault after 13 and get a whole bunch of capsules. And, you know, and every capsule that you get has the chance of upgrading to a, an epic or a champion capsule also. It's, going, it's just going to be really annoying to deal with this thing. Don't have a, a good hand. It's like, what am, what am I going to do? I'm going to attack with both of them. They block the 2-2 two -two and then I twin disciplines it. And then hope they don't just have Mystic Shot or something. This is not good. Tread lightly, strike hard. is the best thing to deny except for other denies and will and will of Ioni, I guess but this does draw a card also We got to Minotaur Reckoner. Don't have a bounce spell, please. Do have the bounce spell. Ouch. Fast as wind, light as air. The 
instead of saving saving some life. Don't have a bounce bill again, please. Boo. So there's that card. Man, look how bad our hand is. Bad hand. Yes, if they have 10 cards in hand and then you recall their card, then it, uh, it evaporates, you know, it gets, like, getting exiled, you know, it, it disappears. Because you cannot have more than 10 in your hand. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. So this will stun them all. Give me three more stuns, so Yasuo will flip. Or, you know, so now Lasso will level up. I got the kids. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do with the leveled up Yasuo now. Nine mana. I don't get to... <sighs> this is probably going to be bad. I believe that we're dead. I believe we're dead. Still have four mana left. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, so we went four and one. That was a not only a tough matchup, but our hand also was really, really bad. You know, like we have to have threats for that matchup, and we didn't. We had all of our protection. You know, we had all those twin disciplines and just nothing to do with them. You know, our hand just all twin disciplines and spirits refuges and will of Ionias. Very good, very good spells at times, but we got to have threats. The thing is, if you kind of look at the deck, though, we actually, you know, we don't have very many threats to actually have. You know, we could have had. You know, Blade Twirler, more Shadow Assassins early. Shadow Assassin would have been the best. Um, but then, you know, we have our, our, 
our things late. That's kind of like what our, our deck does is like we're, we are good at interacting, but wasn't really the, the matchup for it. Um, but yeah, as, as we were talking about, um, Yone is, I agree with it. Yone is just awesome for this, this deck. It's awesome for this, um, this archetype is great for Yasuo and everything too. Um, I do think that I would want to take out an Intimidating Roar for a Yone. Intimidating Roar, like I've said, it's there's times where it's awesome, and it would have been really good to have that last game, to have a second one. You know, like we had the first one to kind of uh, keep them from hitting with the Ezreal, but it would have been really good to have another one. Um. But Yone, Yone is just probably a more powerful card in general. Like it always, it always does two things, and it brings along a six-six. Um, you know, like that for two for two extra mana, always getting a six-six, and then always stunning stuff. Uh, it's just too good. So yeah, I think I would play a third Yone instead of that third uh, Intimidating Roar. But besides that, this this deck uh, really performed well. Didn't quite get the perfect video, um, but yeah, not not too much to change about it. Let's see, we didn't really do anything with might. That's you know, th this might is definitely a flex slot, uh, as we've talked about. There's a lot of cards we could, you know, we had Elixir of Wrath last time, but I wanted might because Blade Twirler can get large, and you want to have uh, might be able to give that overwhelm. That's what I was thinking there, um, but. But yeah, there's there's other things you can play, you know, like there's Culling Strike, which you know kills Ezreal, which is nice, and uh, and everything. But anyway, there we go. It's our first video of the day, Yasuo mid range. So you know we had right here at an hour for our video, you know a little shorter than you know we play another five matches makes it two hours. Those videos get to be pretty long. So those of you on, on YouTube, uh, of course, don't forget to hit that like button, but also let me know what you think of the five, uh, just the five um, match videos. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you like this length a little better. And uh, yeah, so let me know how, how you like it. But anyway, that's Yasuo Midrange, first deck of the day. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.